So Schneider Electric, um, as a global organisation and an organisation that is listed on the CAC 40, um, but also one that operates in a range of diverse economies, both mature and ones that are developing, has a very, very heavy focus around both sustainability and digitalisation. And there's really two critical reasons for that. The first is that we're an energy management solutions business, and therefore sustainability is really a critical factor for not just us as an organisation, but also all of our customers in both mature economies, but also those that are developing as well. In the digitisation space, it's critical for us to be able to digitise as much of the and as many of the solutions that we actually operate um, with, because that's what our customers are actually demanding. They're actually looking for solutions that give them data, that give them analytical information, that allow us to actually support them, not just when we sell them a solution, but also how we service and maintain and work with them over the lifetime of that, that product. So an effective digital transformation strategy really needs to be one that is driven from not just the top down, but also the bottom up as well, the whole way through the organisation. So the organisations today, particularly ones like Schneider, where we're a very large, global, multinational, have a lot of complexity built into them. But to be able to drive the right type of digital transformation strategy, we need to almost live and breathe it in today's world. So we need to be able to understand that that transformation is really not just something that we're doing for the next six months, but it's actually something that we're doing on an ever increasing and an ongoing basis. And therefore it needs to be something that from our CEO all the way down to all of the leaders like myself in jurisdictions such as here in Australia, that we're living and breathing that and that we're making sure that the teams that we work with understand it, but we also need all of those teams to understand what their role in, is it, in, in it happens to be, and then actually how they can participate and help drive it from their particular part of the organisation. The FACI Forum is very, very important for us for a number of reasons. The first is, when we looked at the initial sponsorship of the forum this time last year, it was really driven around trying to look at a thought leadership event where we could promote what the values um, and the attributes of Schneider Electric happened to be. And in engagement with FACI, what we realised was that it allowed us to associate ourselves with um, a brand and also a community of other like-minded people that think similar to ourselves and allow us to exploit that thought leadership in some respects to that like-minded community, um, but do it in a, in a way that um, is organised, managed, but also allows Schneider to promote its, its brand. If I look at it this year, we've, what we've seen from last year is a change in the agenda and is a change in the style, which actually suits us really nicely. It's promoting digitisation, it's promoting sustainability, it's promoting the transformational objectives that we live and breathe in Schneider, but also therefore I think promotes the way the relationship has actually evolved over those last couple of years.